Hi, my name's Fred Varzik, longtime producer director at WGBH in Boston and a resident of Chelmsford since 1971. So you're probably saying, why am I standing here in Chelmsford's old town hall? Well, you see this grand old building is soon going to be reborn as the Chelmsford Center for the Arts. So what is it going to take to have the curtain rise and the spotlight come up on our first big show? Well, let's start at the beginning. You're gonna need a piano and a good one. I mean, if you're hosting a jazz musician, a classical pianist, I mean, a student recital, even rehearsal, you need a piano to make a performance space viable. Now, you don't have to believe me, Here's what some professional pianists have to say. My name is Steve Hunt, and I've been a resident of Chelmsford uh, since 1983. And I've played with jazz artists uh, such as Freddie Hubbard, Stanley Turrentine, uh, Ramsey Lewis. And currently, I'm uh, teaching at Berklee College of Music. My name is Marilyn Roth, and I uh, teach piano at New England Conservatory. You know, some people ask me, like, is the Steinway the best piano in the world? And I just have to tell them, you go to any concert hall anywhere in the world, and the only piano you ever see up there on the stage is a Steinway piano. To have a, a Steinway Grand in Chelmsford would be one of the most extraordinary things I think that ever happened to the town, because there are so many teachers and performers and collaborators and students in need of a place to do their senior recital. At the end of my teaching year, every year we have a, a recital, and my kids go to uh, the PCA in Westford, and they play on a nice stage with nice lighting, and it's very formal, and they have a nice Steinway piano. It would be wonderful to have a, a little recital series in Chelmsford. Um, I think it would boost you to go to Fishbones after, <laughs> afterwards or other local area restaurants. The Chelmsford Center of the Arts is interested in having People perform there, classical musicians, jazz musicians. You know, you invite them out for con local concerts, and if they know you have a Steinway there, they're more apt to come and play a concert there, you know. The Steinway piano is the piano to have. There's, everything else is a compromise. Getting a Steinway just fits into the goal of making the Chelmsford Center for the Arts the best it can possibly be. And a piano is just one of the things that's needed. I mean, this grand old space needs some chairs and tables and so much more. Besides this becoming one of the great performance spaces in town, it is also going to become a premier location for weddings, corporate events, and other functions. As a matter of fact, the event planners are already talking about it. My name is Alyssa Kapelnik. I'm with Jules Catering in Somerville. My name is Leslie Craig. I am the owner of Plan Perfectly Wedding and Event Planning. We had done an event at the center, at the town hall, about in, in October of 2010. It was 10, 10, 10. It was a very busy day for weddings. Um, having an establishment like this is going to be great for the Merrimack Valley. There aren't that many historical sites that girls, let's say for the wedding industry, can rent for their weddings. Another thing that struck me while I was there, the potential that the building has for outside events, whether they be weddings, uh, social events, and especially corporate events based on the amount of large companies that are located in this area. So if I was going to use this place and recommend this to a client, I would have to have state-of-the-art soundboards. If you get tables, whether they be the larger tables that seat 10 to 12, 8 to 10, or even some cocktail tables and some high tops. I would recommend having a portable bar brought in, and linens are always a plus. They're very expensive to rent, so having them in-house is definitely a key. It's going to make it more appealing to them, especially if you have chairs. What I'm saying in the end is the nicer you make the building, the more people are going to be interested in going there, the more marketable it is going to be, and the more bang you're going to get for your buck. I think this is a fabulous idea, a brand new venue coming to Merrimack Valley that definitely sounds like it's on the higher scale, is going to bring in tremendous amount of business for the entire area, and I'm totally looking forward for a grand opening event, Cut the Red Ribbon. You know, I've been in show business all my life, and it is a business. You know that old business phrase, it, it takes money to make money? Well, it really applies here. And that's why we're asking for your help. Because we really want to make the right investments now so we can reap the rewards in the future. And you know, you don't even have to be the first one in. Somebody else has got the ball rolling.
I'm Kelly Beattie and I've lived in Chelmsford since 1985 and I have to tell you I fell in love with the old town hall the first time I ever set foot in it. It was such a beautiful space, all the beautiful woodwork and historic too. So when it became obvious that it was going to become the Chelmsford Center for the Arts, I was thrilled. Fortunately, the other members of the Chelmsford Telemedia Board felt the same way I do that this is a place that deserves to be brought up and into the 21st century and equipped to handle all of the performances that you can imagine being in there. Not just the talent shows and the movies, but also out of town events that might want to come in and use this beautiful space, equipped the way it should be to give a, the best possible performance for our town. Now, Chelmsford Telemedia has stepped forward and donated the state-of-the-art audio-visual system that will be installed, but that's just part of the puzzle. We need funds for other things too, for pianos and curtains and the, all the rest of the things that will make it a beautiful facility. So we've done our part and we hope that other people will step forward and do the same. Okay, Chumps for Telemedia, take a bow. And who else is going to step into the spotlight now and bring the Chumsford Center for the Arts to life? Maybe it's you. We certainly hope so.